For the following exercises, find functions f of x and g of x so that the given function can be expressed as h of x equals f of g of x. Okay, so uh, we did a couple of these already, so hopefully we can get this one, but if not, I got you guys. So it looks like they all gave us three uh, composite functions, and we now have to find the parts. So this is like the answer that usually you find. Now we have to find the individual parts of what f of x is and what g of x is. Now I'm just going to write it down here, what they wanted. They said h of x equals f of g of x. So it's super important to know which one they want you to solve as the inner function and which one is the outer function. Remember, the inner function is the one that's innermost with the parentheses. So in here, the g of x function would be the inner function. It's trapped inside of the f function, which is the outer function. Okay, so now we just have to find out what these pieces are. Always look for the inner one first. I think it's just easier. Now here's a hint. We want to find a piece of the function that looks like it was placed into a bigger function. You're going to look out for exponents and radicals. So for the first one, it says h of x equals the square root of 2x plus 6. I think to myself, hmm, is anything trapped or inside something, maybe a square root or a parenthesis? Definitely, right? It looks like the 2x plus 6 is all trapped underneath this square root. Do you guys see that? This whole thing is inside the square root. And that's the hardest part, guys. As soon as you say that, that is your inner function. And in this case, they want the g of x function to be the inner function. So that's 2x plus 6. The rest is super easy. What you're going to do and how you find the outer function is, well, that's the f of x function. That's what they wanted, right? The f, the f of x. Um, you literally would rewrite the whole function, 2x plus 6, and you erase mentally, because that's how we get better, um, so in your mind, but for right now, let's write on it just in case, you know, this is the first time you're doing it. You erase everything that you said was the g of x function. So bye-bye, we're going to erase this. And all you got to do is just write it as an x. Now keep in mind that the letters have to be the same. So if you say an x here, this is has to be an x. But if this was like, you know, a, an h, it has to be an h. All right. And now all you got to do is clean it up. This, I'm just going to clean it up here. It's just the square root of x. I'll cut this off a little bit. And I will say that this is the square root of x. And that's it. See how easy peasy that was, guys? The hardest part is finding the inner function. And then everything kind of just falls into place. Let's try it for the next one. h of x equals parentheses 5x minus 1 uh, raised to the third. Is there anything that's trapped inside, maybe by a square root or a parentheses? Yeah, right? I see that this 5x minus 1 is all trapped between those parentheses. So this is inside those parentheses. They're trapped. That's the inner function. g of x equals 5x minus 1. And now to find the outer function, we rewrite the whole thing and erase the inner function and just put an x there. So the whole thing was 5x minus 1 raised to the third. Oh, just kidding. I wanted to erase. And we're just going to put an x. And look at that. You just got to clean it up. So it looks like it's just going to be x cubed. So let me write that for you guys. And that's it. There are your two functions again. It's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Hopefully this is easy for you. Last one, h of x equals the cube root of x minus 1. Hmm, is there anything trapped inside something else? Maybe a parenthesis or a radical? Yeah, right? It looks like this now, x minus 1, is inside. It's trapped inside this big square. Well, in this case, it's a cube root. Okay, that's the hardest part. g of x is x minus 1. And now, for the bigger function, 
rewrite what they gave you, erase what you said was the inner function, and just put a x there. That's it. Just cleaned it up. So it's basically the cube root of x. I like that. Cube root of x. And there you go. Those are your two functions. Easy as pie, if that's even what the, uh, whatever that is, you know, figure of speech. <laughs> um, but yeah, look at this, guys. We did this. What, what do you guys think? Hopefully this helped you. Hopefully it was easy. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I love helping you guys, and if you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button, smash it, destroy it, whatever you want to do. Um, but if you don't want to, that's okay, too. We still love you. <laughs> all right? Um, I'll see you guys all in the next lesson, okay? Have a great day. Keep studying hard. You guys got this. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.